Good afternoon and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19! Uh, right now I am running to the post office real quick to drop off some Christmas cards and to take back a package and then I just gotta run to the store real quick and then I'm gonna come home and do the dishes and pick up the house and then I will definitely be making Christmas cookies. My back feels a lot better today. Uh, I don't know what it was but I seriously felt like my back was on fire the other day or uh, last night so which sucked so I'm all like bundled up it's really honestly not that cold out whatsoever especially for the 19th of December in Michigan so uh yeah that's all I'm doing right now and I'll see you when I get home that's okay so as you can say I'm here with my gorgeous gorgeous Ellie hey so we decided since you guys loved seeing the best friend tag that we are gonna do the holiday cheer tag that we found on X Sparkage's YouTube channel, which we will link her below, because this one got me into her, and we love her to death. Added so, a couple, but this yes. is we have it on a napkin because we're cool like that. Okay, so we have our questions, and let's begin. Okay, favorite holiday movie? What's yours? Um, I'd have to say probably Arthur Christmas. That's I my, haven't seen that one yet. That's my new favorite. I think it's such a cute movie. That and, you know, Elf is a big one. Oh, yeah. I love so, Elf. I think those are my two favorites right now. My favorite definitely is A Christmas Story, but other ones that I really love, I love um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, both the regular and the Jim Carrey version, and Family Stone and The Holiday. So those are my, like, top four favorites. But A Christmas Story is definitely my number one. Okay. Um, tr holiday Traditions. What are your holiday traditions? Um, probably, especially since I'm back home right now with my mom, um, baking cookies and fudge and all that good stuff. That's always been a good holiday tradition that we've always done. So, I think my favorite holiday tradition is just everything about Christmas. Um, the one tradition that we do have the most in my family that since my family and I are no longer speaking that I have definitely carried on is what we have for Christmas morning and it is like it's it's like a strata but it we call it breakfast stuff and what you do is you layer bread like cubed white bread then you put eggs uh, like raw eggs and then sausage and cheese and then you put it in the fridge overnight and then Christmas morning you bake it for an hour and if you want I'll put the recipe down below um, and because it is amazing and it is truly not Christmas until I've had like my first bite of that. So that's probably like my most every single year like holiday tradition. Um, favorite holiday candy? Mine is definitely like peppermint bark or the peppermint um, Hershey Kisses. Anything peppermint. I'm I'm a huge peppermint fan, but peppermint bark is probably definitely my favorite. Which is, I think my favorite. I look forward to it every year because you only can usually get it around Christmas time. Is those dark chocolate oranges? Oh They're, yeah. They like actually come like an orange. You mm -hmm. have to crack them open and stuff. My friend, when I lived in Texas for a year, she got me hooked on those, and those are just awesome. I can't wait for Christmas time for those to come out. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, favorite winter candle scent. Probably, there is a candle at Walmart that I smell every single time, and it's like a pine <laughs> yeah. tree. Like, every time we go there, it's it's like... We have to go to the Christmas so she can just... Yeah, so I can just, like, smell candles. Inhale candle. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I think anything, like, pine, because um, I, it just reminds me of Christmas. Also, I love... Um, just anything, like, with a really wintry smell. I'm not a huge, like, cinnamon fan, but uh, around the holidays, I mean, anything that really kind of spices up the uh, the house it is really nice. Okay, so sorry we had to switch to the phone because my camera is acting dumb. So, next question is gloves or mittens? Um, gloves, definitely. I like, okay, and this is going to sound funny. I, the gloves that are the mittens too, where like you can pull the mitten part off and you have like your fingers, I used to call those hobo gloves, <laughs> and I used to hate them, hate, hate, hate them, and I actually remember I got one for Christmas one year, and I actually told my mom I hated them and I didn't want them, but now, especially being in a chair, it's a lot easier 
to use those kinds of gloves, um, but I would probably definitely say gloves just because it's easier to use, um, especially like with my phone, you know, if I'm out and about and stuff. But I want a pair of gloves that have like the little, metal, like the metallic finger tippy thingies. Yeah. So I want to get a pair the of those. Touch screen gloves? Yeah, those are pretty cool. Okay, do you like to give or receive gifts? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I think I like to give. Yeah. I've always been that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, like I just got my mom a Keurig for her birthday, and I was super excited to give it to her. I couldn't wait to give it to her, and she was excited to get it. <laughs> I think I'm definitely a giver. Ah! <laughs> We're going to keep that part in. <laughs> My phone just fell off of our little setup we got going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. I'm keeping those in, honestly. Okay. Okay, real quick. I'm thinking of it. Yes. Let's tell you guys about the makeup we have on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here, i got to take my glasses off. Okay, I was like halfway through doing my makeup, and Ellie's like, take it off. I'm like, wait, what? She's like, just take off all your makeup. I'm like, well, I don't want to take off my, like, foundation and all that. So, she, so I took off my eyeshadow that I already had on, and so Ellie actually did my eyes. I did my eyeliner and mascara and all that, but she actually did my eyes. So, that's what my eyeshadow looks like today. I actually quite like it. I didn't think I was going to like the purple, and I do. And then there, there's Ellie's. That's mine. Um, put your head down. <laughs> I used LA Colors. It's my favorite eyeshadow, I think. It stays on a lot better, and it's cheap. It is. Um, and then I used, Ooh. of course, we both used our Hard Candy um, Liquid Eyeliner. Love it. It stays on so well. Even, like, my waterline, you can see. I did that about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. It's still there. Um, and it'll stay there most of the day without running and making it look all bad. Um, I have NYX Concealer right in here. It's hers. Um, <laughs> because I have really bad dark circles, which you can't even tell with that on now. And no, I, um, I also have the... Let yeah. me see if you can there you go. see take, it. Take the camera. The Falsies Flared Mascara. I'm usually pretty picky about my mascara, and it was hers. And um, I thought I'd give it a try. And I love, I love it. Everything. It gives me like those big... <laughs> Baby doll awesome. eyes almost. Let's see, what else do I have on? So, she's trying to pull out everything. I am. She's well, I'm going to do like some of it. Hold this on. is. This is going to be such a weird video. It, yeah. <laughs> That's what makes it fun. It right? makes it. Okay, so what I have on is I have. I did I a. Um. When I did my updated makeup like what's in my makeup bag, I had this, and I said I didn't like it, but I decided to try to give it another chance, and now I use a stippling brush, I actually use the e.l.f. stippling brush, and I love it. It's very liquidy when it comes out, so you only need like a tiny, tiny bit, a little bit goes a long way, and it is the Rimmel Match Perfection, and I'm in the color 120 Ivory. Then, what we both have on our for our eyeliner is the Hard Candy. I love the packaging. It's very like, I'm a sucker for good packaging. And it's um, it's just the black. It's called Asphalt. There's no glitter or anything to it. And by the way, if you've ever used Hard Candy or want to try it, I would recommend not using the glitter kind because I bought it and tried it and it it's just glitter. So you can barely even tell that you have eyeliner on it. It kind of really sucks. Those are all my clean dishes back there, by the way. Yes. I did all my dishes today. It's clean. It's clean. It's very nice. Probably won't stay that way for long. Probably not. Okay, what I have on my waterline is, of course, my NYX Cole Kajal pencil. And this is just in do, 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 black. So I love it. It's really soft and it stays super well. You guys know me. I love my NYX. Then for our... Concealer, we use the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. This stuff is my holy grail concealer of all time. I will constantly buy this over and over and over again. Yep. I look really and short. Next time we go to Ulta, I am so definitely investing go. in that because, like I said, it did really work well on my under eye circles. And it's amazing that I was able to use it because mm -hmm. most of the time you can't really tell it in the camera, but I have a little bit darker skin than she does. Yeah. So 
I can't use her concealers or foundations <laughs> or anything. So. Which actually you've been doing a lot lately. Only well, a Well, no, times. a little bit, yeah. yeah. So, and this is in the color CW05, and this is medium, which I am really fair-skinned, so I was really surprised that medium was actually, like, the perfect match for me. So, and then what Ellie has, uh, I'll let you show your mascara. Um, my mascara is, well, it's her mascara, but what <laughs> I have on is the Falsies Flared. And this is actually, I won this in a giveaway from Ashley Eller, who's having another giveaway, and I will link that below, and it's amazing. We actually just watched and it, And this is so. just in, um... Very black. Mm hmm Always black. Oh, yeah. Always black. Every now and then, if I'm doing, like, a really brown, like, smoky eye, I'll do brown eyeliner. I never use it because I have naturally dark hair. Right. So I mean, and now since I dyed my hair black, like, I normally always, I've really always ever used black. And then, of course, my uh, mascara is Jordana Best Lash Extreme. Holy Grail mascara. I will buy it forever and ever and ever. You can get it at Walgreens for, like, $2.99, and it is amazing. And then what I have on my lips is a mixture of the Revlon Lip Butter, and this one is in Creme Brulee. And then over top of it, I have a little bit of my other Holy Grail, and this is the Rimmel London, and this is in Dusty Rose. So, and Dusty Rose looks like that, and Creme Brulee from my Lip Butter from Revlon looks like that. I have that on as a base, and then I have a little bit of that over top of it. So, that's our makeup. <laughs> I thought I'd just point that out because we yeah. spent some time doing it and I redid her makeup and I really, really, really like that. So, if you like the purple, mascara. if you like the purple, please comment because comment it was my thumbs idea. Up. I thought we'd kind of try and match. I have purple yeah. on and she doesn't usually go for the brighter colors. I love the brighter hot pinks, greens, whatever. We and went to go get our nails done one time and she got like hot, hot, hot pink. pink. I'll tips. put a picture, I'll put a picture at the end of this video of our nails. It was pretty cool. Okay. So now, back to the uh, Christmas tag. Yes. Also, oh, I like to uh, give gifts, and my favorite is watching them open their presents. And yes. I actually just got, I'm so excited, and I wish I would have left it out because I wanted to show you. But I just got my friend Dawn's present, who is um, Bella and Gaby's mom. And I'm not going to say what it is because she does watch my videos, so I'm not going to say what it is. But it is, she's going to cry. Plain and simple. She's going to cry. Okay. So, number seven is get dressed for Christmas morning or stay in jammies. Oh, stay in jammies. Jammies. It is not Christmas. Like, of course I get ready after, like, Christmas morning. Right. You know, when you go to, like, your family and stuff. But Christmas, like, I'm totally in jammies, like, yep. as much as I can. So, yep. jammies for are sure. awesome. Yep, big baggy shirt and nice mm -hmm. comfy pants, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, favorite <coughs> Christmas song? That's easy for me. What's yours? Um, I really like, um, Christmas Shoes. Oh, yeah, I remember It's that. so sad, but it it's one of my favorites, along with um, Sleigh Ride, I think it is. Which one? By Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Oh, so they God, I one. love... Like, I like that song, period, but with mm -hmm. them playing it, awesome. I love... I think next year we really need to go see Trans-Siberian together. Because I wanted to I, year, but Yeah, we were, just, we were supposed to go. Much. Actually, yeah, and we were we had talked about it, like, in the fall... That we really wanted to go see Trans Siberian Orchestra this year, but it just kind of didn't work out. But next year we are going. Okay, favorite my favorite Christmas song is "I Want a Hippopotamus oh, for Christmas." God. I have that song stuck in my head all night. I right love now. that song. And then also too, um, I love um, like "Walking in a Winter Wonderland." That's always a good one. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually one of my favorite Christmas albums is actually the. In sync Christmas album. It's truly one of my favorites. I love it. I listen to it every single solitary year. And uh yeah, so it's cool. I'm kinda bummed Backstreet never did like they did a Christmas song I think last year, but they've never done like a Christmas album, so Alright, so one I just added in there to <laughs> kinda tie along in with the Christmas song. Mm -hmm. When do you start listening to Christmas music? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, I start listening to Christmas music probably before Thanksgiving. Um, it just depends on, like, my mood, um, but definitely, like, because in Michigan, they have, um, a, I know a lot of stations do them, um, but down where we live, they have WNIC, which, um, they play Christmas music all day, every day, from, I think it's the day after Thanksgiving until New Year's, or it's the day after Halloween. I think it's the day after Thanksgiving. 
but it's all Christmas music all the time, which is really cool. Um, but mostly I start listening to Christmas music, like, right around Thanksgiving. Um, me, I work retail, and <laughs> this year, unfortunately, we started listening to it right after Halloween, I think. It was, like, maybe a week or two after Halloween, the radio started playing it, and the manager said, we are listening to Christmas music, there's no changing the station, because she loves Christmas music, and I do too, but listening to it that long, but... It's a lot. I used to work at Subway, too, as I said in our previous tag mm -hmm. video. Um, so we always listen to Christmas music around Christmas time. So after a while, you just learn to tune it out. Yeah. Because it's just the same songs over and over. So mm -hmm. you learn to tune it out, and it it's fine. Especially waiting on customers. You don't even pay attention to the music. Yeah. So. Okay. Hardest person to shop for. Who's your hardest person to shop for? Um, I think the hardest person for me to shop for would be my aunt. She's she's more the outdoorsy, fix it type of person, but she has so much stuff. Like I don't even know <laughs> what she needs. She's got screwdrivers <laughs> and flashlights, and, you know, all that stuff. It's hard to figure out what she needs, and um, I just never know what to get her. <laughs> this year, my mom was pretty easy because, like I said, for her birthday, which was December twelfth, I got her a Keurig. Um, Along with around the same time, it was before Halloween, I think I got all this. Um, I got her about 10 boxes of the K-Cups mm -hmm. in tons of different flavors. So she's getting that along with a K-Cup carousel for Christmas to go along with her Keurig. So she is going to be set for <laughs> like the whole year, if not longer. Because we found out if you do have a Keurig, um, the coffee K-Cups, you can use more than once, as long really? as it's just the coffee ones. Oh, yes, I um, know that. it is a little bit weaker, mm -hmm. but you can use those more than once. If it's just like the cappuccino or hot chocolate or tea, you can only use those once because mm -hmm. they're more of the instant kind. Mm -hmm. But with coffee, because the grounds are still in it, she can use it more than once. So Good tip. it lasts even longer. So all you so. people that got Keurigs out there, you just learned a little something. something. Yep. Okay. Um, Hardest person for you to shop for. Definitely Kyle. Kyle, my dad. Um, my dad always wants like iTunes cards or DVDs and stuff, mm -hmm. but he has a huge DVD collection, just like me. Uh, we are huge movie buffs. And also, too, do you like my star? I got a Dollar General for like three bucks. Um, but That's where I, I work. Yay! <laughs> um, but I think Kyle's definitely the hardest person to buy for. He He's a gamer, in case you guys didn't know that. Um, Xbox, totally, all the way. And he's just, I don't know, I mean, he wants, like, certain things, like, every year, like, you know, white beaters and, you know, socks and all that, and I get him that. But when it comes to, like, fun stuff, it's really, really hard to buy for him. And my dad, like I said, he always wants, like, iTunes cards and that kind of stuff, so. Uh, yeah, definitely kind of. <laughs> Alright, so, next question. Eggnog or hot chocolate? Hot chocolate. I like both. I'm, I mean, I'm not big on hot chocolate just because it's usually way too hot for me to drink or mm -hmm. after it's made. <laughs> but an eggnog, like, I'll drink it sometimes. But I You mean, just bought eggnog, didn't you? Was it you that brought over a little like thing a of eggnog? a month ago. Well, yeah, but it was. Yeah. I forgot if it was I your... mean, once in a while I do. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is just a little extra tag I added on to that one because it's kind of food related. Um, favorite, ex uh, favorite Christmas cookie? Ooh. Sugar cookies. Sugar cookies. Um, or Russian tea cakes. Yeah. I like my mom's sugar cookies. I'm really kind of picky about them. But I also really like, we made a ton of them. Well, I made a ton of them today. We, mm -hmm. There ended up being like 80 of them, I think. Not me and her. Um, her and no, her. me and my mom. And um, they're called Peanut Butter Temptations. And what it is, it's basically like her peanut butter blossom. It's like that, but um, you put it in a mini cupcake pan. You roll it into one inch balls, put it in a mini cupcake pan, you, when you, for eight to ten minutes, you pull them out, and then you stick Reese's cups inside of them while they're still in the pan. I'm gonna have to make those for Kyle. And let them cool in the pan for about ten minutes, and then you pull them out. They're about that big, and you can just pop them in your mouth. And she was gonna bring some over, but she forgot. I did. Sorry, I she brought bad, me dinner. Because that was part of the reason I made them, was so I could bring them over, but... Cause my, she brought me my dinner. She brought probably, me McDonald's, so um, I was that made up for it. My brothers are probably having gone by the time I get home tonight. That is like the biggest treat in our house at Christmas time. Are we'll those. have to make some, and they go so quick in the house. We'll have to make some. 
All right, number 11 is, can you name all of Santa's reindeer? I can, can yes. you? Yes. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Cupid Donner, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph. Yep. And how do you, do you know it from like a certain thing? Yes. Jingle All Jingle the Way! Jingle All the Way, yes! <laughs> <laughs> when he's, okay, if you guys have not seen Jingle All the Way, you are missing out. Okay, there is a part, it's with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sinbad, and a few other people. I think Rita Wilson's in it as well. And there's a part in the movie where he's running down the street, and Sinbad is chasing him, and he's like, Dash a dance, a prince, a vixen, and call me the keep reason Madonna, The reason they're doing that, though, is because on the radio station, there was a giveaway for this <laughs> Turbo Man or whatever. Tur like yeah, it was Turbo deal. Man. And if you can name all the reindeer, you got the Turbo Man. And they couldn't get through and on the phones, so they said there was they're, like, fighting in a diner, and the guy is like, it's just two blocks down on Wabasha. And so they're, like, running, they're running down, down, the, down street. the street. It's hilarious, but that is actually, that's funny, because that's yep, exactly that's, how I know it. As soon as I saw that, I was like, yep, that, Dash, yep that's, that's it. Dance, 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 keep that of lips in. Mm. And then you gotta add in Rudolph. Yeah, you have to Rudolph, Rudolph is really part of it. Yes. That's my husband's favorite Christmas movie, is Jingle All the Way. I love that so. movie. I like, um, I'll Be Home for Christmas with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Is that what it's called? I think so. I think so. I haven't seen that movie in so long. Oh, I love that. It's oh. on Netflix. Another favorite of holiday movie of mine, I can't remember the name of it, I think it's Once Upon a Christmas, it's got the blonde guy from Touched by an Angel, I think, Andrew. I have no clue. I don't <laughs> remember, it was a really cute movie though, and I keep wanting to find it on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever, but I haven't really looked that hard, apparently. <laughs> so, alright. Number 12 is... Funniest or weirdest gift that you've received? Yes. I think the weirdest one I got is I'm big into Ford Mustangs. I have been since I was about 14, 15. I even have the tattoo on my back. That's the emblem of it. And um, one year my mom was kind of joking around. She got one of those little Hot Wheels Mustangs. She's like, here's your Mustang for Christmas. <laughs> That's <laughs> mean. I'm like, yeah, it was mean, but I think that's got to be like the funniest, weirdest thing I've ever gotten that I can think of. I can't think of you anything. Know, ever since like... I had my kid, you know, my memory just, she sucked <laughs> my memory right out, my smarts and everything. She is such a smart girl. She is. She's a sweet pea. We I... should try to, by the way, she started walking today on her own. Just Yay! like about a foot and a half or so, a few steps. But um, I'm going to give the video to M yes. to put on. and um, we'll or, put it. or I'll even make it public on my YouTube channel. And you can see I have a bunch of other videos of the, of her. I will link her there. channel below. So maybe I'll um, make those public for you guys and you can check them out. If you guys would like Ellie, if you think Ellie should start her own channel, give this one a thumbs up and comment below saying that you would love to see Ellie start making videos. Because and what you'd like me to do. Yes. Because I, that's, that's my problem. I don't really know where to start, what to do. <laughs> so let me know and I can get that going. Yep. Okay. I, the only thing that really comes to mind is I didn't get it. My sister got it. My uncle's, my aunt, like my, my mom's brother, who's my uncle, obviously, his wife's mom were close to, and so she was always, you know, around for the holidays and everything. She, we did like a, we used to do like, um, not Secret Santa, but it was like the White Elephant game. And she got Carrie, and my sister's, my younger sister's Carrie, um, she, she got her a set, like a kitchen set of cows. Like, it was, like, a cow, like, creamer jar and a, car sh a cow sugar thing and, like, cow, um, like, kitchen towels and, like, that. I don't, it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. That's, like, the only, like, really weird thing that comes to mind for me. I'm trying to think if there's one that, like, the only other thing I can think of is, like, the hobo gloves that I didn't like as a kid. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've never really been, like, extremely disappointed with anything I've ever received for, uh, for Christmas, so. Alright, what are we on? Thirteen. New Year's resolutions, and do you, do you have any New Year's resolutions, and do you stick to them? No, and no. <laughs> I don't really find any point to them, because I don't stick to them anyways in previous years, so forget it. I mean, I'd like to lose weight, obviously, you know. Got a little bit on there to me, but, right? I'm that's, a big girl. That's what I say to them. I like it. 
So, I think... I like my boobs, but, you know, I could go a little bit skinnier. <laughs> Kyla likes my boobs. Um, <laughs> I think I, I try to do... Um, I try to do New Year's resolutions. I never really do the whole weight thing just because I think that if I'm ever ready to lose weight, then I'll do it. I don't like to, you know, make it a resolution that, like, I have to do something by this time. I think my only resolutions I really have is just to have a better year than I did the year, the year before. So, that's really my only thing. Okay, go ahead. Um, number one thing on your Christmas wish list. Um, I don't really have a, I don't really have anything on my Christmas wish list. Like I said, I'm happier just giving gifts. My mom is getting quite upset with me because I can't think of anything I really want. I'm getting but, upset because I need to buy something for her still, and I still haven't. She hasn't given me anything. But I have an idea. I could use a laptop or a new car. Oh yeah, because <laughs> I have a bunch of those just floating around. <laughs> um, but other, th I mean, I guess a laptop. Would be on my Christmas wish there you list. Go. Um, I've been wanting one for quite a while, and I did want a tablet, but I started using tablet, and I can do so much more on a laptop mm -hmm. than I can a tablet. And I do have the S3, just like M, and it's basically oh, no, a, oh yeah, we're filming. It's on basically it. a <laughs> tablet, so I, I would. I'm really like, where's like, my phone? I would really like a laptop. So my number th one thing on my Christmas wish list is Real Techniques brushes. And Ulta gift card. It's, and not just, I mean, I love all, of, you know me, I love all the Real Techniques brushes, but there is one that is Sam's Picks, and it's a six brush set that is, like, 30 bucks, and I told Kyle, like, that's my number one thing I really, really want. Um, so, yeah, that's mine. Okay. Number 15, real or fake tree? I prefer real, mm -hmm. but, at, um, mm. When I was still at home with my husband, we have we had issues, so we're not together right now. We're not divorced and don't plan on it anytime soon, just not together. Um, he bought me a real tree when I was in Texas for the year I was down there, because he lived down there, I moved down there. He got me a real tree, because he knew that's what I was used to. But he said it was a pain in the butt, he'd mm -hmm. never do it again, because it's such a mess. But I prefer real, mm -hmm. but what we have with my husband is fake, and then my mom also has a fake tree, but she got it from a garage sale for five bucks, nice. and it's, it's like the size of yours. Yeah. So, let me, I'm gonna... My tree's huge. See. Yo! Woo! So, um, set you back up here without it trying to, like, fall down again. Stick. <laughs> I have a fake tree. Um, we used to have real trees when we were kids. And, but I'm allergic to the sap, so Kyle would always have to, well, actually, I don't think I've ever had a real tree with Kyle. No, I didn't. Um, I prefer real, because I love the smell, and we had real, like, pretty much growing up, but, um, since, probably the last time I had a real tree, I was probably maybe, like, 11 or 12, and I'm 28 now, so, mostly fake. Alright, um, this was a question she came up with. Mm -hmm. Do you... No, no, the next one I came up the with. The next one yeah. was the one she came up with. Ow. But, do you buy gifts in advance, or do you wait? I try every year to be like, I'm going to start Christmas shopping in August. And it never freaking happens. So, I try... I mean, I really, really want to try to buy it in advance, um, the only problem with that is that once I get them, I want to give them to people, yes. so that's my hard part, so it actually almost works out better than it's last minute, because then it's obviously closer to Christmas, and then they can have their gifts. Yep. So. Um, I try to buy in advance. Um, this year I started buying in July for my <laughs> daughter, but it's her first big Christmas. Her birthday Yay. was just November 15th. She turned a year. So last year wasn't any big thing, you know, a few toys and a couple things here and there. But this year's her first big Christmas, and um, I definitely started buying way early for her, and she has so many toys hey. now. It's toys and clothes and stuff, pajamas, it's insane. Like, <laughs> my mom started wrapping some of her presents, and she's got them piled up in my room, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> you know? Those um, for me? And then I've already got my brother's gifts. As I said, I got my mom's gift. I still have to get something for my aunt. I don't know what. 
it's like it's hard Lowe's gift for. card. Um, and then I think for my husband, again, although we're not really together, um, he's getting a tattoo on Saturday. I think that is, well, tattoos. He's getting one across here and then across here. Um, I think that's going to be part of my Christmas gift to him. Like I said, I'm very giving. And even though he doesn't always deserve it, he's still my husband. I love him. And um, I'm going to do more than just get him those tattoos. Mm -hmm. So, But I definitely buy in advance. Or try to, for the most part. Mm -hmm. So, Okay. This, this is the one is I added. Do you wrap as you get your gifts, or do you wait to wrap until you have all your gifts and then wrap? Um, I wait. Not until necessarily I have all my gifts, but until, because the wrapping paper is usually put up, you know, for Christmas. So once my mom and my husband start wrapping for Christmas, that's when I wrap, too, is when the stuff is out. <laughs> I wrap as I go. As soon as I get a gift, I have to wrap it. And that's how I've always been, even since I was a kid. I love, 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 love wrapping presents. And it's funny because the years, you know, I've lived in this apartment, well, in this actual apartment for five years. And we've had, like, a lot of our neighbors and stuff have, that have kids. And I've actually, like, wrapped all of my neighbor's kids' <laughs> presents and stuff, like, for a few years. I think I wrapped a bunch of, I wrapped actually all of Gabriel, Xavier, and Bella's presents last year um, for Dawn. And I, I love wrapping presents, so I wrap them as soon as I get them, so. Okay. Um, where you live, do you have a white Christmas? This year, I believe we're going to. Yeah. If we don't get as much rain. We live in southern Michigan, um, mm -hmm. near Ann Arbor area, um, to give you a little more exact area. <laughs> um, there have been years where we didn't have a white Christmas. It's just... It sucks. It does, really, because you're so used you're to it. You're used to it. Being here for, what, I've been here for 22 years because mm -hmm. I went to Texas for a year. And then you're... I've lived here what? my whole life, 28 years. So. Yeah, so I remember you're used to it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I remember um, one Christmas, it was 40 degrees and rain. And I was depressed. I was yeah. like, um, I love it, actually. when We have probably a good... Five inches of snow on the ground right now. It's, it's actually well, it's melted a little bit. It's been raining. Yeah, it was it was actually pretty warm today. Um, for mid December in mm. Michigan, um, but most um, most Christmases we do have a white Christmas, so or really close to it. Okay, what's the one present? Mm -hmm. This is the last question. I added this one, and I ask everybody. Every single person. So, if you would like to answer this question, leave it in the comments below. I ask this question to every single person that I know, like all my friends, every year right around this time. So, what's the one present you always wanted but never got? I know mine. Mine would be, even though, let's see, I was in first grade, I broke my collarbone. I got a puppy. Um, it wasn't really as a gift. I just was finally able to be able to take responsibilities for a puppy, mm -hmm. but I've always wanted to come downstairs Christmas morning mm -hmm. and have there be a great big old box in there, open the lid and have a little puppy stick his head out. Aww. That's just, I've always... We'll wrap Watson in a present. Aww. We'll, ra we'll wrap Watson in a box. That's just something I've always wanted. I just, you know... Okay, the thing I've always wanted, and I'm sure everybody's gonna laugh, is a Bob Ross paint set. I am... Woo! Sorry, back. camera fell again, or phone fell. I mean, there you go. Okay, so if you do not know who Bob Ross is, he was a amazing. Oh, is he that guy with like the, the fro? Afro? Yes. Oh, I love watching okay. him. Okay, my mom's he used like, You're to put your daughter to sleep. But... I loved that show. I used to watch it all the time. It was a show on like CBS where he had this big old afro. I'll put a picture of him at the end of this video. <laughs> and he was a painter, and he had, like, through the JCPenney catalogs, like, Bob Ross paint sets where you could actually go on or, like, purchase them, and then, you know, like, came with, like, a VHS that you could follow along. <laughs> yes, VHSs, because we're that old. <laughs> um, shut up. <laughs> I so, know what you're you, about. Not you. I'm just talking about all the youngins that are watching that are like, what's a VHS? A VHS is, like, a cassette that's about that big, and you put it in a VCR, which, if you don't know what a VCR is, then look it up. Google it. And you have to rewind. Rewind. Them. Yes. That's why, if you ever heard the saying, be kind, rewind. That's where it comes from. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mine was a Bob Ross paint set. Still haven't gotten it. 
And uh, I don't even know if they sell them anymore. They probably don't. I could probably <laughs> maybe probably look at like it on Amazon or something. Or eBay or something like that. Know. So, anywho, that is the end of our Christmas cheer tag. So, if you guys liked it, please give it a good ol' thumbs up. Thumbs up. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. And like I said, if you want this lovely lady to start her own channel and start making videos, then please let us know in the comments what you would like to see from her. And also, too, if you guys have any of your video requests for Vlogmas, please leave them in the comments. We love you guys. She's running out of things to do. I am. I'm truly, like, running out of things to do. And I still have to decorate Christmas cookies, which, depending on how tired we are, I might. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Probably not. I might do them, but I don't know if she'll do them. <laughs> so, anyway, that is it for tonight, and we will. I will see you guys tomorrow. I don't know. We might be together tomorrow. Maybe. We might. I don't know. I'm trying to get her to go to Sephora with me, but... Five days before Christmas at the mall. Yeah. We do have premier parking, though. True. That's one good thing about being in a wheelchair. Premier parking. But they don't have, um, the carts no, they at don't. the mall. That's gonna suck. That is gonna suck. We'll see. Yep. I don't know. So, anyway, we're gonna sign off for tonight. We love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!